It is such a pretty day today. It's nice, it's supposed to rain later, so. We're getting all this done early, then we can be in the house, watch some football and chill out for the rest of the day. I hope they have some good stuff here, I'm excited. I got my little bag. <laughs> to put all the produce in. Um, I guess we'll start here. This one is really big. No. The other one is like just this, honestly. Oh wow, those baskets are cold. So that's a dollar a pound. I got some apples, two dollars a pound. Peaches. Oh, Asian pears? I don't know. Two dollars a pound. Okay, well, this one's pretty good. Look at the flowers. second one that we're seeing because theirs was a little bit cheaper. Oh wait, never mind, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Eu vou fazer isso. 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 Yes. Got a big watermelon and secured the bag over there. <laughs> we got what we needed. It was nice, a lot of people there, but it was cool. And now we're going to go to probably Walmart. That's what we'll do. I'm sweating. <laughs> it's hot. I'm hot. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the little hippie truck over there. Little Volkswagen. They have so many pumpkins, but I didn't need to buy a pumpkin right now, so I didn't. And when it comes to getting like the real pumpkins, they go bad, and I don't got time to be trying to clean it up. Yeah, we're gonna set it out front, which bugs and everything. That is super cute. I am thirsty though. We definitely need some water. The guy in there, he was like. Um, he's like, do you make videos? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this watermelon is heavy. I'm happy we found it. Another reason why it's nice to go to farmer's market is because, you know, you're supporting like local farmers and again, it's usually cheaper. And then also, you usually can find like organic seasonal stuff. And this is a nice experience just to go, like, go and I like, pick up your fruit outside. Like, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, like, you know, supporting them for sure. So it's nice to go. All right, now let's head to the grocery store. Hey right. guys, we're going to Captain B's. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to the damn Captain D's. How uh, has he never heard of Captain D's? Like, fucking, it's like basically the like a restaurant. Captain D's, boy. Boy. A fucking Captain D's. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, we're going to Captain D's. <laughs> You're crazy. Anyway, so we are actually going to this new grocery store. It's called Food Co op. So let's see how. Hopefully, we can get everything and the prices are pretty cheap now. <laughs> you got the key? Oh, yeah. You got the key. So it is natural. Yeah, all natural. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, so we just got word <laughs> that this is a. That's it right there. Food co op. She says like an all natural. Probably like a Trader Joe's sort of thing then. So let's see what is hitting on. This store is so cute. It reminds me of like a sort of like a Trader Joe's. And there's another store that I can't think of. But the prices are like, it's good to get like some produce and some other stuff from here, but not really like the pantry stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 
It says free ice cream. Our freezers went down long enough for the ice cream to thaw, then it was refrozen so the batch is free. I'm definitely grabbing some of these. Like, what? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Today's the last day for it. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. So I got the honey lavender vanilla and the matcha chocolate chip. Is there any more of the watermelon? <laughs> What's that? That's a syrup. Oh, wow. We're now heading into Target to do the rest of our grocery Get shopping. Back on this end, though, right? I'm gonna go to Walmart, but we don't be feeling like going to Walmart sometimes. And honestly, we find that the stuff that we get at Target, the price is pretty much the same thing. So we're gonna go in here. I'll probably get a few clips. I'm not gonna record too much. I should do a whole little grocery haul when I get home. So see you soon. We are back from grocery shopping. We went to the farmer's market. We went to that food co-op place. And then we also went to Target to get the rest of our items. So let's go ahead and do a haul while I organize all of these things to put away. So first up, simply, um, I got the pineapple juice. I haven't found the pineapple juice and I finally did. So we got the pineapple. I love this juice. It's a nice, like, you know, natural little fruit juice and then I also got the peach as well. This, this peach is really good. I haven't tried the pineapple, but the peach is good. Alright, let me organize a little. We also got some eggs. And then this juice is a like just the minute made fruit punch. So we got three of those. And then some Oreos. I've been wanting some Oreos, so we got that. Also got some brown sugar because we are going to bake pumpkin snickerdoodle cookies. So I'm really excited. Um, we'll see how it comes out. I also got some quinoa because I want to try and start eating it. So we got some quinoa here. I also got some more sourdough bread for me. And then Zay likes the honey wheat bread. Also got some of these rich cheese crackers. All right, we got a quite a bit of pasta. Pasta is like an essential for us to have in the house because we can usually make any and everything with it. Like Alfredo, sometimes I'll make like the spaghetti, you know, like the red sauce, or I'll do, um, you know, just some other types of pasta. So we got that, this is a tri-colored rotini. And then, we also got macaroni shells because he wants mac and cheese. So we'll try and make that. Got two boxes of those. And I thought we got, oh, we also got linguine as well. Next up, I got some teriyaki sauce. I love me teriyaki sauce. I have a few meals that I wanna make. I wanna make some teriyaki salmon and also some like teriyaki tofu too as well. So got that. When it comes to grocery shopping, I'll put on the screen how I organize my grocery list. So that way when I go in the grocery store, I know exactly what to get. And I also already have meals laid out. So that way I know, you know, what ingredients I need for that. 
meals are easy to just look you know i can go on my phone look at what meals i want to cook and then i'll go ahead and you know make that not too much thought to it the most tedious part is making the grocery list and figuring out what we want to eat for the next few weeks or at least for the week and then we can kind of spread it out to eat like twice next up i got cornstarch because i like using that to cook my tofu with to make sure that it's like super crispy and it stays crispy also got some barbecue sauce because we ran out we got a small bag of jasmine rice some more of my extra creamy oat milk because you already know from my last video we need that to make our smoothies and also the chai as well got some honey ran out of that got some more mayo I like the Duke's mayo, it's really good. I got some guandules because I like making, uh, my mom makes rice and beans, rice and peas pretty much, but like the Spanish version of it. So I'm gonna try and remake that. And then I also got some black beans because I want us to make a taco bowl. I needed some smoked paprika, so I got that as well. And then I have been buying frozen vegetables because I find that it is, easier <laughs> it lasts longer in a sense where i don't have to worry about you know the fresh um produce or the fresh vegetables going bad in the fridge um so i just get frozen so i got the frozen corn I got some broccoli i think i got two, yeah i got i got two of each so i got two broccoli two corn and then two spinach and then i got the impossible ground beef because I'll probably use this for the taco bowl. This is another essential that is needed in the house for sure. I got a bag of avocados because I love me some avocados. Got some butter. This is my first time trying this yogurt, but I wanted to try it out and see. It is a coconut milk yogurt, so we'll see. I love buying yogurt because I make the homemade oats or homemade granola to make a little parfait situation, so. We got that. Oh, so at Target, let me let you know. And I actually think I said this in my what I eat in the day or what I eat in the week video. These garlic Parmesan chips from Target. If you come across it, just buy it. Taste it and you will not regret your decision. So good, I have to open it up and eat it in the car. I got some limes because I love putting limes in my water. It makes me feel much more hydrated than just plain water and it's good i got some i think i actually meant to get the lettuce mix but this is the like coleslaw mix which i thought we can put it in our bowl as well we got some provolone sliced cheese for zaya's sandwiches and then he also grabbed some pork and vegetable dumplings as well we got he loves these bars the sweet and salty take those for work um, we also got some Teddy Grahams as well. Then I got some hemp seeds because I have been making smoothies a lot and I want to make sure that I get, you know, the proper benefits in it. I just like to make sure my vitamins and everything are well. And hemp seeds have quite a bit of magnesium and potassium, which is great. So I got that to add into my smoothies. Oh, I also got some pumpkin puree because, like I said, I want to make the pumpkin snickerdoodle cookies and it called for pumpkin puree. So I'm excited. I'm a little nervous because I'm like, I mean, it should be good, but I'm never one to be like, ooh, pumpkin, you know? So we'll see. I actually had pumpkin pie for the very first time last year and it was really, really good. So I'm like, this shouldn't disappoint. We also got some block cheese um for the macaroni for the mac and cheese and then also some shredded cheese we just like having shredded cheese in the house for things like tacos or if we do like alfredo or something like that and, oh i got the coconut milk because another one of the meals i want to make is curry so we need coconut milk for that and um salmon because that is another essential and again that is one of the meals that we'll be cooking and then another essential is the Impossible Burgers. They're so good, Zay loves them, I love them. It's just nice to have. When we don't really wanna cook and we just want something, you know, good, we got the burgers for that. Okay, so that is everything that we got from Target. So I'm gonna put this away. 
what we got from the farmer's market. So you seen that we went to that grocery store called Food Co-op, right? So we grabbed hella ice cream. <laughs> All of this was free. Zero dollars. Like, it was meant for us to go in there because I was I kept saying like, oh, I wanna like go to another grocery store, let's just check. So that we came across that one. So let's go one by one to show you what we got. I'm so excited. Okay. So first and foremost, we got this. It's called Jenny's Sorbet Frosé. It says sangria style frozen rosé wine with pear, strawberry, and watermelon. Refreshing and bright with a ting of tartness. So I grabbed three of those. And then this packaging is so cute for this one. But it's called Alex Ice Cream. This is the matcha chocolate chip. And then I got the honey blueberry lavender and i thought i got another one of those i guess not and then i was like i never tried mousse but like we can try it and see this is passion fruit mousse mojo desserts so i got two of those then i also grabbed these raspberries double covered in white and dark chocolate zay grabbed a bunch of these ice cream orange cream um frozen dessert bars these are so good as you can see we already opened what and tried it so good three of the orange sickles we got one mango we got well, actually two mangoes and then i was like mm, let me try this this is french swirls of earl green tea and sweet cream ice cream so we'll see and that store was so cute it was like all organic but we couldn't really grocery shop in there because the prices were a little outrageous. We got Bubby's Mochi. I got the green tea mochi, the strawberry mochi, mango. Two mangoes actually, and I already had one. It was really good. They only had one of these, which I know is gonna be really good, but it's organic watermelon popsicles as well. Like, wow. Amazing, amazing. From the organic place, I also got two things of tofu. When you put tofu in the freezer and you take it out to cook, the texture is like much tougher, which is better when I'm trying to have like a chicken type texture, you know? So I got two things of tofu. Now on to what we got from the farmer's market. Grab some green beans because I want to make some salmon with the green beans. So we got some of that. And then I finally found purple sweet potato. I am so excited about this because I've been wanting to try it. And it's also good just to get, you know, a lot of color in terms of vegetables into your um, eating. So purple potatoes is a great one. It has a lot of nutrients, so I'm really excited. I got two, <laughs> this is huge. And then we also just grabbed a few of just the red potatoes because that is another meal I want to make as well with the red potatoes, so we got that. Also grabbed some tomatoes because I want to make bruschetta and then we can also have some tomatoes for our taco bowl as well as some cucumbers and then also got a red onion as well. I love cooking with red onions. It's just good just to have. We also got this huge watermelon. <laughs> we'll let it sit for a little bit longer before we cut this bad boy open. Love watermelon in this house. As you can see from my last video, it's like we have to keep it in the house. So we got that as well. And then I know you've seen, but there was this guy who, he sells mushrooms and I seen that he had lion's mane mushrooms. And if you know the goodness that lion's mane mushroom has, then you know. Um, but I was interested to see how much those were. He gave me this um, black garlic. Now I never tried black garlic. I did taste it there and it's actually pretty good because I'm interested. And apparently it has a lot of medicinal benefits as well. So I'm gonna do some research and we got black garlic. And that is it for the grocery haul, for the grocery shopping trip that we did today. I hope you enjoyed. I'm probably gonna vlog a little bit more today, just showing me cook. Yeah, I'm so excited. I love grocery shopping. I love getting like fresh produce and all the things. It just makes me excited. I love cooking. So all of these ingredients and meal planning is very exciting for me. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I hope you got inspired to go to your farmer's market, get what you need to get, to make your grocery list very detailed so that you go in the store and you only get that. And that way you know exactly what you were buying those ingredients for and what meals you're gonna make to make it easier.
easier for you throughout the week. We all have busy lives, so the easier the better, especially when cooking, because this is the most important thing. You need to make sure you're feeding your body, you know, the right nutrients, giving your body energy. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm excited to eat dinner. And then also Colorado plays today at eight. So we're gonna watch football and just chill. This is our Saturday, so we are going to chill out. crazy but let's try out the matcha chocolate chip i'm excited but i'm also kind of like that's what it looks like green of course let's see i don't see no chocolate chips all right let's taste Definitely taste the matcha. <laughs> taste one more time. Okay. It's really good. It's just very much matcha. But I don't see no chocolate chips. Is it just like blended in here? Oh, I see a little chip here, but barely. found a chocolate chip. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. Just taste the matcha. It's like a creamy matcha. It's pretty good. I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside. TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas proud me. Baby girl.